guys, Coop here. As you can tell from the title up there, this is going to be a video response to a good friend of mine. He's uh, CBBA50. He's uh, an American living down in South America, and uh, he's got a really, really nice channel. He uh, talks about politics, talks about uh, knives, talks about way of life in Bolivia. He's just an all-around good guy. He uh, loves a, a good debate on just about anything you can think of that he's you know interested in. He'll he'll talk to you about it, and he's he's a big supporter of mine and of a lot of other people. And he's holding a contest, and he's not really looking to gain subscribers. He's looking at trying to just give back to the community that's welcomed him. And uh, I just want to do my part in welcoming him to the community because I think he's a really nice guy and a lot of my subscribers you know he talks to and he's subscribed to and uh, with that being said guys I'm gonna put his link down below you guys go over and check him out and if you like his channel subscribe to him you know tell him Coop sent you and uh, let's get on with this contest he's got going on for one the contest is, is really awesome he's got a a uh, custom knife maker down there in Bolivia that he's met that apparently has learned his trade in the United States and now he's down there making his knives and uh, the first and second prize of his contest will be a custom made knife by this guy and uh, it's the, they're, they're really awesome looking knives I mean go over and watch his video I'll put a link to that down below as well, and uh, they're they're not the kind of knives that you'd want to take out and use. They're the kind of knives that you'd stick on the wall and uh, and collect. They're 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 nice knives. Anyway, let's get on with the rules. He's got one here. Must make a VR. Well, buddy, here you go. I'm making you a VR right here. Uh, second rule: must showcase your craft or skill, talent, etc and a brief description of either your production product process or demonstrate your skill well right up here as you can see I'm demonstrating one of the skills you know this is what's got most of the people that you know subscribe to my channel this is the reason why they're here is my paracord stuff uh, I love playing with the paracord uh, unfortunately I'm disabled and can't work at my profession anymore but I do dabble in other things and paracord is a very very good way for me to uh, relieve stress and also it's products that I like to sell occasionally alright now we'll move on his third rule is he wants three shout outs one shout out for someone under 200 subscribers the next shout out for someone between 251 and 751 and the third shout out for someone over 750 subscribers well my first shout out is to uh, Tim Overstreet his link will be down below with everybody else's he's only got three subscribers as of this video being done and his channel is really really new but he is a super nice guy he talks about his knife collection he's uh, talks about a shotgun that I've never seen before that just absolutely is gorgeous he uh, he's got a great little channel up and coming and I suggest everybody go over and check him out then my second one which is uh, 251 to 751 subscribers now I'm biased on this one guys this is GI Customs. I just won his contest, and you just would not believe how happy I am about that. George is one of the nicest guys I have ever met. You, uh, you have a question or a comment, and he tries to get back to every single person that, that puts a comment on his page. He's just a really super, super guy, and I urge everyone to go check him out. He's just... One heck of a guy that's got one heck of a future with knife smithing. And then the next one, over 750. Well, to be honest with you, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers that subscribe to my channel. 
that are over 750. I, I have a lot of people that are under that mark. But here's one of the few that I have that's over 751. And that's Sugar Creek Forge. Tim. Now he's another knife smith. He makes knives. And he is by far one of the nicest guys at putting educational videos up that I have ever seen. He's got a big heart that's willing to help anybody at any time. I, I've never seen him be derogatory in any way with anyone. If you have a question, reading his comments on his uh, videos, he's always giving you an answer. And uh, if he doesn't know the answer, he's always trying to find someone to give you the answer. And I really suggest everybody go take a look at all three of these guys because they have awesome channels. All right. Rule number four. Provide input on method of choosing winner. Well, you know, the personally me, I like random. You know, either random.com or take everybody's name, put in a hat, and draw it. That way nobody feels like it was rigged. Everybody sees what went into the bag, and, and nobody can feel the, well, I think this was given to a friend of his, or I give, think this was done this way. It's just, it, it makes it a lot easier for everybody's conscience in the long run. That's just my opinion. And then you've got uh, optional. He held up a knife that uh, he asked if anybody knew where it come from and to uh, let him know. Well, I did a little bit of digging and uh, pictured a knife, be right up here, and it's a pretty cool knife. Okay, it's a Tanto style blade. He said he got it back in 95, and uh, I did a little bit of looking around, and what I came up with was cold steel, was the closest thing I came up for, come up with. And, uh, the knives were brought out back in the 80s, and as far as I can tell from their website, they're still making them today. The only difference between the cold steel and the knife you hold up is the cold steels they're making now don't have the brass bolster on it, the brass uh, hand, or finger guard. But that could have changed. They could have changed that years ago. Anyway, buddy, that's uh, pretty much my take on this contest of yours. I hope it does well for you. Uh, I urge everybody to go over and check him out. He's a really nice guy. And with that being said, friends, I appreciate all your comments. You know, put them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I appreciate your views. Really appreciate you guys just taking the time to watch my videos. And pretty much, old Mr. Coop's going to say, Coop out.